Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about XSS, that is cross-site scripting. So in this video series, we will be seeing what is XSS, why XSS happens, what is the severity of XSS, what are the types of XSS, and different ways to do XSS vulnerability. And you will be able to hunt this vulnerability on all the live websites. So, what are the types of XSS? There are three types of XSS reflected, wherein the input gets reflected onto the web application. For example, if you give an input, that is your name, into a search bar of any website, let's say you give Rohit, and Rohit is again reflected onto the website. For example, no results found for the query Rohit then this is a reflected type. You can try to search a reflected XSS there. Next is stored XSS. If the input gets stored into the server, then this type of vulnerability is known as stored XSS. In DOM XSS, if the input passes through the DOM, which is basically through the source and comes out of the sink, how a XSS works. So here is an example through which you will understand how a basic XSS works. As you can see, there is a client on the left side, on the right side it is a server and there is an attacker. So the attacker sends a link to the client. The client will click on that link and the client or the victim will authenticate it with the server. Remember, the link contains the malicious payload. After the victim has authenticated with the server, the server will send the cookie to the attacker. Which cookie? The authenticated cookie of the client. Now, the attacker has got the cookie of the client and now attacker can log in as the victim or the client. So basically, he is able to do an account takeover. So first we are going to see XSS reflected. Check for if input gets reflected in the page source, body or URL. So you should check whenever you give any input into a web page that it is getting reflected in the page source, in the body or in the URL. Next. If the input gets reflected, we can hunt for reflected XSS. Sending a simple JavaScript to execute and prove XSS we are going to do. If there is no input validation or sanitization, then it is very dangerous and there can be a vulnerability of XSS. So yes, this is the practical time now and let's see reflected XSS how it can be done. So as you can see, I'm onto a web application which is testphp.wallenweb.com. On the left side, you can see there is a search box in which I'm going to type Hactify. And I will hit go. After typing Hactify, you can see it has got reflected onto the website. As you can see here, it has got reflected which means there is a reflection. So I can try for reflected XSS. I'm just going to try a very basic JavaScript and see that, that if this JavaScript gets reflected or executed. If this JavaScript gets executed, then there is a vulnerability of reflected XSS. So a simple JavaScript looks like script alert something into that alert box let's say two and script close let me open a sublime text editor and show you what the script look like so the script starts the script ends and in the middle you can see there is an alert which says two so when this script is going to get executed, there should be an alert box with the number 2. Yes, 
So the application is successfully executing our JavaScript, which means this application is vulnerable to reflected XSS. Now, what we are going to do is instead of two, I'm going to type document.domain in which I'm going to see the name of the web application. So the web application name is testphp.vulnweb. Let's see if we can get the name. Yes, so we have got the name. Now, let's try to get a cookie from this application. So for that, we are going to type document.cookie and we are going to execute this JavaScript. And I will hit enter and press go. As you can see, this has got executed, but not showing any type of cookie because the we are not authenticated into the website right now. So the website has not generated any cookie for the user. I hope you guys understood what is reflected access is. Thank you.